Did you find a present for Justin yet? His housewarming party is in an hour. Ooh, what about this one? Nah. What about a throw pillow? Nah, throw it out the window. Mm, how about a cutting board? Nah, cut it out. Weighted blanket. Nah, waiting for you to stop. Are you just gonna take whatever I say and rephrase it into a way of saying no? Well, I said nah, too. Said nah, eh? It just so happens I am a purveyor of hidden objects where men fear to tread. What? An item as rare as moonlight on a shadow and as personal as a secret only you know. What does that even mean? Yeah. You want something moderately priced and thoughtful that says, I get you. Yes, this guy gets it. In order to gain your prize, you must best me in the ancient contest of knowledge and wisdom, or be lost in the sands of time. I win. Best two out of three. So when does one shoot the ladder? First of all, you don't. And second of all, I win. Best of four. What? Do I get to shoot the ladder in this game too? What? No. Is your person Bernard? Curse you, Bernard. Listen, Soggy, no more games. Just give us what we want. Fine. I make it so. Klaatu barata cheese nikonote! Where are we? Last thing I remember, you asked me if we should get Justin a present. And you said nah. Wait a second. What? And you said nah. Get it, Sedna? Oh yeah, I get it. You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Not in the slightest. What? Andy, Sedna is a small world in the far reaches of our solar system. So? So Sagi sent us here thinking this is what you want. Big deal. We'll just turn around and go home. Roberta, how far away from home are we? Sedna is currently about 7.7 .7 billion miles away from Earth. Wait, maybe this Sedna could be the gift we get Justin. Good idea. Let's make him talk. Hey, guys. Oh, Sedna. Crazy story. So we have this friend. He's named Soggy Otter. He's like... Part wizard, part billionaire, part shaman. And he sent us here because we said nah, and he thought we wanted Sedna. You guys did? That's what the fourth this week. The resemblance is uncanny. Yeah. I look just like that young Indiana Jones looking fella. What? No, I- So what can I help you guys with? We need a gift for Justin. Oh, uh, okay. What is he like? Pants. Oh. Oh, no pants here. While Sedna may not have pants, it does have an interesting backstory. Sedna is a small, icy world far away from Earth in our solar system. Scientists aren't sure exactly what to call it. It's not quite a planet, and not officially a dwarf planet either. Instead, it's called a planetoid, or trans-Neptunian object, because it orbits the sun far beyond Neptune. Sedna is one of the furthest objects in our solar system. It is way beyond Pluto, in a region called the Oort Cloud, which is a distant area full of icy objects at the edge of our solar system. At its furthest, it could be around 90 million miles away. That means, if you drove to Sedna at its furthest point in a Dodge Viper, at its top speed of 200 miles per hour, non-stop, it would take you over 51,000 years to reach it. But at its closest, it's about 7 billion miles from Earth, which is still incredibly far away. 
By comparison, Neptune is about 3 billion miles away at its furthest point. It can stretch so far away from us due to its strange elliptical orbit, where it takes over 11,000 years to orbit the Sun. This strange path of orbit is likely due to a nearby star passing by Sedna and pulling it in during the early formation of the solar system. And many believe that its orbit is likely influenced by the gravitational pull of a hypothetical planet often referred to as Planet Nine. Sedna will be at its closest point to Earth in the year 2076, and the last time it was this close was around 9,400 BC, around the end of Earth's last ice age. It's like I'm looking into a mirror. Totally. I look just like that kid from Family Ties. What? That means that I look like... You guys, we're running out of time. If we don't get Justin a present, he could... He could what? I don't know. Find new friends or something. Oh, please. A little brown kickball without a nose. What? How is he going to find new friends? He's got a point. I think we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Fine. We're fine. We're fine. You're totally not fine. Well, if you think Justin being made of a kickball is weird, Sedna is made of something much weirder. Sedna is named after a goddess from Inuit mythology. The Inuit people who live in the Arctic believe Sedna is the goddess of the sea and marine animals. Scientists chose this name because Sedna is extremely cold and far away, just like the icy Arctic Ocean which the Inuit people live near. And speaking of ice, Sedna is likely made of a mixture of rock and ice. Scientists think it has a frozen surface covered in methane and nitrogen which makes it look reddish. In fact, it's one of the reddest objects in the solar system. When it comes to size, Sedna is smaller than Pluto, but still pretty big. Scientists think it measures anywhere from 700 to 1,000 miles across. By comparison, our moon measures over 2,000 miles across. If you were to drive completely around Sedna at its equator, experts believe it would only be about 1,000 miles. That's about the distance from New Jersey to Florida. And if you were to do this drive at 60 miles per hour, it would only take you over 16 hours to do it. Ugh, I guess we aren't gonna find that present for Justin. Oh, sorry guys. I just hope he doesn't leave us and find new friends. I'm sure he won't, and everything will be just fine. New friends? Engage. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Like every video of mine, there's a super secret hidden coupon code in it. <laughs> Try to find it. If you do, you can use it to get money off on my merch, so good luck. Now on to my patrons on Patreon who keep this channel alive. Special thanks to you, Max C, Stephen McPhee, Penny and Liam Drury, JJ Schmidt, CL and Django Henry, Connor and Emma B, Silas M, Lucia and Camilla Buendia, Xavier Freeze, Lava Liam, George George Monkey Summers, Zane and Asher Davis, The Puffin Boys, Teddy and Josie Burke, Kuchan115, Solomon Caldwell and Asa Caldwell, Marley and Lennon Kimsey, William and Joe, Moon and Storm from Arizona, Laney, Maddie and Henry, Jack Hartzler, Chase and Garrett Warner, Levi and Julian Cooney, Burning Wick, Ellie Moon and Noah Orion, Logan Miller, Roman Mars, Odin, Tyson, and Mocha, Catalina Ryan from Dublin, Ireland, Connor Pendergrass, Laser Rosen, Wesley C, Evan Lee, Ronan X and Raiden Z, Jasper Soros Rex, Oliver V and Kristen, Elias and his fun dad Dave from Saskatoon, Owen Picklesimer, Alexander, Julian, and David, Bodie Turner, Carter, Levi, and Fletcher Crawford, Lennon McCotney, Jones, Page, Avalon, and Cash, Rena May, Jackson Bear Welch, Nolan Jordan, Mika Jordan and Maya, Virginia and Harrison Way, Luke Raposa, Asher Evans, Maddie Gator, Roslyn and Stone Verrata, Rebecca Beanie, Julian Jackson and Jacob, Unshuman, Erickson and Alexander L, Gavin and Ian Eshte, 
Paisley, Hannah Lay, Whitney and Brian, Gavin and Hayden Huggin, Sunshine Sparkle and the Pups, Toothless and Light Fury, Jonathan Xavier from Indonesia, Oshi, Bert, Kate, Ross, Lindy and Pepper, Layla Delgado, Hawthorne and Willow Tree, Aria Chaudry, Sophie and Remy Keffer, Carter Levi and Fletcher Crawford, Ada S, Ocean Casey, Max and Kaz, Sam and Eddie from London, Sammy Osif, Connor Higgins, Connor Lecoque and Family, Sultan, Judy, Nora Rita, Jameson, Nolan and Lily, Jack and his awesome dad, the Gowdy Bros and Mabsy, Jonathan George, Chesselton Kent, and Gavin Lytle. Guess what? You can get your name with all those other names that I just read if you visit patreon.com backslash Mr. DeMeo, and I'll read your name. I will read it. It will be my voice, and I'll say it very nice, like this. Like, if your name is Gregory, I'm going to say Gregory. But consider signing up. If you do, I will think about sending you a fruit basket. Check the description box for a link. Thanks for watching, guys. Mm -hmm.